1973, tragedy and despair have struck Central Texas. A young college student named Maria Flores is seemingly vanished without a trace. She was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago. But with no physical evidence, the investigation has stalled. With few leads and even less hope, Maria's younger sister, Ana Flores, and a group of her closest friends set out to find their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness caused by Maria's disappearance would pale in comparison to the agony and despair they would soon discover. What awaited this group of youths was a nightmare beyond belief. The events surrounding Maria's disappearance would be just one of the many bizarre crimes later known as the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hello fellow grave crawlers and welcome to ZTV Games. I am Paper Zombie, your host for you as always. And on today's episode, we are getting back into the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and we are touching back on the first lady of the family, Sissy. We're gonna continue our training with her today and we're gonna get deeper into her spec and also, we're going to clear up some rumors and some things that might have been a little bit uh, um, confusing yesterday. So, without further ado, happy Sunday to you all. And let's get busy. First, let's go ahead and let's talk about a couple of things that need to get cleared up real fast. One moment, please. Let's go ahead and get into the customization because that's what we're going to be talking about. All right, uh, apologies for that. Just needed to get a few things straight real fast. Okay, so when last we were playing Sissy, first things first, 
remember how we talked about Bane yesterday? And remember how we said that we were talking about Sissy's poisons? Check this out. This is She is not like Hitchhiker in that she does not get damage with her ability. The only time you get damage with Bane is once you get to rank three. Once you hit Toxic Cloud, the poison seeps into the victim's wounds, causing them to lose health for a short period of time. This is where your damage comes from. Other than that, you are not doing damage. If you take either one of these two, or you just don't ever take this one, you uh, until you can get to this one, you are not doing damage with Sissy's poisons. What you're doing instead is it causes the victim to pretty much it gives them the drunken effect like for the victim it makes the screen wobble a little bit and then it makes it kind of like blurry and kind of like you know zoom in and out a little bit slowly uh slowly um so that's all that does until you get to rank three so let's clear that rumor up right now she doesn't get double damage she gets a damage over time at rank three and that's the only time that her poison cloud does any damage now her poison cloud as we discussed yesterday sorry about that excuse me now you can't really take advantage of it until you hit rank three but this is where because as you guys remember yesterday on the skill tree we were all about going this way so that we could be efficient with our herbalism and be able to take and poison as much as we wanted to and having that extra benefit. Today, we're gonna move without that benefit. Today, we have moved over to what is called, well, pretty much we're starting with because what I'd hope to be able to do was have Bane ranked up all the way to three. It looks like that is probably not gonna happen today. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and skip ahead and because once Bane hits three and once we get that damage, then it opens up all kinds of other possibilities. But for right now, until we get there, Here's what we would look at if we were going this way. Now, why in the world would you ever want to go this way after the trash I talked about it yesterday? Well, number one, if you, this is rubber legs. Your toxic cloud and poison items also slow victims down by 10%, level two, 15%, level three, 20%. So what this means is that as long as you've got your special blend, and you do your spray you step into it you will your poison attack instead of it just you know causing the visual effect for the victim it will also cause rubber legs this will also do this for any item that you poison but check this out we don't have efficient poisoner so this means we're only going to get three poisons before it's going to be time to run back to the motors and get more so what do we do about that well, with this spec, what we're using right now as part of it is this is technically not Battle Sissy as I promised yesterday. We'll get to her later. What we're doing right now is what you would call Blood Runner Sissy. Now, you would think that you would go this way for Blood Running because this is all your running perks and... You know, that's Universal Donor where you get more uh, blood from the buckets and then there's Scout which helps you run faster and then these are all your endurance buffs like you would think you would go that way. Well, you can, but here's what going this way offers you. First of all, Violent. Now, why in the world would you ever take this? You take this in place of this. If you're not running this, I would say, because this is always gonna give you benefit from this as long as you're poisoning your weapon, but you have to have this in order to poison your weapon. So what we're gonna be running with is rubber legs and we're running this because anything that we poison, we want this to slow the victims down. 
So it's only gonna slow them down for however long your, po your poison lasts. But slowing them down is a good thing at any point. Having this means that we get one swing and in that one swing, this is going to give us rubber legs because our weapon is poison. And then if they keep lingering in the cloud, they're gonna keep catching rubber legs. So the longer they stay, the longer that duration stays for the initial one. Remember how I said this is Blood Runner Sissy. We're missing Violent because it will go into one of these two places, depending on what you want it. Why would you take Violent? Violent, you would take that because it's going to give you a damage boost as long as you've got a full blood vial. Now, why would you have that? Because with Blood Runner Sissy, you're going to be running blood. That's gonna wind up being your secondary thing. Your primary is of course to poison every uh, to poison objects, but because we've only got the three poisons to start with, now we have a whole lot of planning that we have to do. Now when I say a whole lot, I mean a whole lot. Because you have to think ahead with this version of the spec. You have to think ahead of what you're going to poison where your mortars are, and then you have to try and calculate how much you think is gonna be in those mortars. So, when you play this way, you are one mobile sissy. So, we're taking this because this is gonna be the easiest thing to help slow the victims down. What is this? This talent is called, you'll pay for that. The family, other family members can get this talent too. What this does is says that if grandpa is incapacitated, your damage dealt to victims is increased by 15% until he recovers. What this blood spec is based off of because Sissy already has 38 blood harvesting. She doesn't need any more in that. Her blood harvesting is bomb. So that allows you without any other perks for blood to be able to go get your blood and have a good amount so that when you bring it to uh, grandpa, he gets at least a level and some change after that. You would take violent because violent would be what you would use while you're on your way to grandpa. And in case you come across victims, because with this spec, we're not looking for victims. We're just watching out for them. We're not actively chasing them. We're watching out for them. So with Violent, once you have a full vial, that's going to increase your damage. So that'll keep you buffed up while you're going to Grandpa. This, you'll pay for that, is part of your setup. And you're going to see me use this. This setup is that victims, as soon as they see that grandpa is being fed a lot, they're going to come up and they're going to try to incapacitate him so that they can knock him down levels because that's giving the family power. And if he gets to rank five, he's gonna, anytime he does his sonar, they're gonna get spotted. So your victims are definitely gonna be trying to run out there and say, hey, none of that grandpa and they're gonna do their thing, and trust me, you're gonna see it. I had last night when I did some extra stuff after the show, some extra learning, I had a Anna come up and chain stab Grandpa. Literally from like level three all the way down to zero. So this is the setup for that. You stab Grandpa, the longer he's incapacitated, I get damage. So this helps Sissy. Remember before we had serrated, this helps by boosting her damage by 15% on top of her savagery already being up to 28 from 10. So what this does is this makes her nasty when you incapacitate grandma, uh, grandma, grandpa. And then if we had violent instead of rubber legs or if we have violent here instead of rubber legs then violent as long as you have a full blood vial is going to give you that extra percentage of damage now 
as a blood runner spec, you always want to make sure that you have a full vial so that when the victims attack grandpa, you've got plenty of blood in reserve to be able to give back to him to keep this cycle going. But the reason why we're going to go ahead and take this is just because if the victims rush, you're not going to have time to do a violin. And that's just because you're never going to have enough time to have a full blood vial. So that's the only thing that offsets putting violent here over special blend is that you never know if the victims are going to rush. But if they see a sissy, they're always they're more than likely going to rush because they know she can get to the objectives and poison them. So. Now that we've explained all of that and what this is for and the whole setup. Why don't we see it in action? So, of course, we're taking always in sync because it's nice to be able to see the objectives and see what our other family members are doing. And then, since we're not going to get to the maximum of Bane today, hopefully we can. Hopefully. Um, we'll go back and forth. We're going to start with this one first because this is going to at least allow us to slow them down and give us a poison attack. If it looks like we're going to be able to have some matches where there's no rushing, then we're going to replace this with violin. Now, why would we leave this, but not this? Well, you can go either way. But the reason why we will want violin is because at least when you have this, this is going to help with your setup. So if anybody tries to stab grandpa, and then take off running and go grab an objective, then that's gonna slow them while they're highlighted and you've got this damage bonus. So it still gives you a chance to have this if they touch anything that you poisoned already. So that's where that helps you out at. Other than that, I would say take this, but then again, why would you take this without having something that's gonna add to it when you have no damage. So yeah. So for this. We're going with 28 Savagery. And 30 Endurance. Because she gets a good stamina boost. From this here. Regeneration by 50% for 30 seconds. So she's got a pretty good setup with this. So let's go ahead. And let's check out. What. Spec version one of Blood Runner Sissy looks like. Now let's see how long it takes us to get a match. It's not your time yet, Face. Next week. Yes, I'm sorry I'm kind of talking ahead, everybody. Next week, I'm looking at... We're probably going to be doing Leatherface. Since he seems to be the one that everybody... That you just can't get away from. It'll be time to do him. And we've got some stuff for him. Oh, yes, we do. But it's not his turn yet. Now let's see if one of them will be nice enough to take Leatherface. Looks like not. 
All right, I'm out. This is the hardest part, man. Like I swear, they need to go ahead and they need to put in the ability to pick who you want because it, this whole random thing about who, who you're gonna be when you're family is stupid. And I find that the randomness is never Sissy or Johnny. It's Leatherface, Hitchhiker, or Cook. Mostly Leatherface. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, so you got a leather face and he's all macked out with the heavy damage talents. Big swings, violent level three, and then he's got Feral, level 2, which adds to his Savagery. And his Chainsaws all the way up to level 3. So, Big Swings allows him to do more damage. But at the cost of, like, losing a truckload of stamina just for that swing. So, you have to play that right when we do Leatherface next week. Like, we'll get into him and we'll talk about Big Swings. And how that works. All right, let's prepare. The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. The vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby communities of Marlow and Chinatown will unearth new leads. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her disappearance to please come forward. Residents of the Apache Ridge residential development were horrified today when authorities removed dozens of jars from one of the homes in the neighborhood. These jars contained a variety of body and animal parts, from frog legs to horse hooves to human eyeballs. The owner of the property, 60-year-old Barton Wembley, claims he bought the jars as is and thought everything was just regular animal stuff. Authorities are holding Wembley for the All right, first things first. With this spec, blow your poison out. So that coats our weapon. And then immediately, you're gonna run to this Motar. Now remember, I told you, when you play this spec, you are much more active because guess what? We don't have the security of a chance that we're gonna get a, a extra usage out of our stuff. So remember, Blood Runner. Now, so far, it looks like everything is going slow. So this is good. This is very good. Alright, so we're going to try and move out to the center. Just in case they do rush, and then we're going to work our way back. Because one thing is that you do need to be speedy. So no switch there. Grab this blood. Check on the family. Where's everybody else at? Okay, face is down there. He's down there. Okay. Okay, good. There's no bird right here. All right, there's poison. All right, so we got that. Let's grab this blood. Ah, here we go. All right. Let's take a look around. There we go. Let's get this while we're here. 
Okay, that's on the other side. Dang it. Freaking. Hi, baby. She put that right back down. <laughs> She's like, ooh, let me open this up and nope. <laughs> She's looking at me. Oh, yeah, you bet I am. All right, so first things first. Even though we could have went after her, that's not what we're here for. Want to lock these objectives down as fast as you can and get them poisoned. Because if they get their hands on these, they're going to be the ones who control the level. So we want to poison you. And then we've got another knob we need to go ahead and grab this. All right, so now if we have violin, I would automatically have an extra 10% to my damage. I love it when my family is so happy. Hello, Johnny. Did you kill her? Okay, and that's that. That's that. There's our other spots. Okay, so we're gonna need to go inside. So, remember how I said that this is a bait and switch? Let's go set the bait. Dang, already? Johnny, what were you doing? Were you not watching? Were you not watching the whole time? First things first, when you're dealing with sissy, you don't run. You stalk. They'll run. But this gives you the opportunity to figure out where they ran to. All right, we don't, we're not worried about him. Johnny, face. I hope you guys are doing your thing. So we're gonna continue with ours. Right now, our main priority is to watch this door here to make sure that they don't get in. And then we wanna watch our other door to make sure they don't get in through there. Now, if I had my other ability, we'd be able to poison. All right, we got face here with us. Okay. Let's continue with the blood. So, so far our bait is not working, but that's okay. So is that, that's okay. Okay. Now, as always, we wanna check our bottoms to make sure these aren't open. Okay, they're not, cool. All right, let's go hit our back area because if someone's gonna try and escape, that's the first place they're going for. All right, let's shimmy over this way. Hello, brother.
All right, let's wander in here. Get some of that. Grab this. While we're at it, let's go ahead. It never hurts. I want to do that. Now let's go hook Grandpa up. I'm not at full yet, but this is still gonna give him a level because it's over 100. All right, that's already poison. He's over there, so he should be good. So that means we need to run back this way. Face is over there doing his thing. Now, even though this is making me stick out like a sore thumb, we always want to make sure that that says unlock and open. Because if it does not, that means that somebody made it through here. Let's take a quick... I don't think we can get there that way. Alright. Here's one more door we're going to go ahead and check. Because sometimes, people can get smart and come this way. Nope. Alright, so at this point, we're pretty much just on guard. Because we have to wait for, uh, for blood to respawn. that door partner okay let's see if I can go in here and get some blood out of here nope Johnny already has it or if Leatherface already has it all right so they've already been through here awesome there he is Alright, so we're just going to keep our watch on the back areas. And we're just going to go get a little bit of blood because that's all we need. The hunt is over. Success! Not too bad, not too bad. Death by bleed as so he just bled out. Now, escape from parking lot exit. Okay, so those are the ones who made it past Johnny. Okay. That's okay. Not our problem. We can't watch everything. Let me check on my sound and see why it's tripping out. Alright, maybe that's what was doing it.
All right, let's hope that that did it. All right, back to action. We got that set up. Hopefully that is what we needed to do. Just set my sound up a little bit better. I'm going to lock in. Okay, now, ah, dude, go back. Go back, not Johnny. Not Johnny, dude. Johnny is not ready. Like, either be Cook or be somebody who could do something. Unless this guy knows how to play Johnny. But all his stuff is rank one, so this tells me that answer is no. It's okay, we got something for this too. Starting like we always do. Now, why do I always go for that one? Because there is another Martar over here. But we want to save that one for when we're in tight pinches over here. Because guess what? There is. Is there an exit? No. Okay. But we do need this blood. Because it's part of the bluff. And here they go. Poison it up. All 
right, there's our fuse box. Johnny, where you at, buddy? Not over there. Okay. He's over there. I see you, sweet thing. Where'd you go? See, now, yes, you actually can hide like this, dealing with victims. Then you spring up out the bushes and you do something like that. Now, she thought she was gonna be able to just do that easy. Did she actually make it through? Yes, she did. How in the holy heck did she do that? Now you guys saw that. You guys didn't even see her go through anything. Now, Okay, so now she got out of this door somehow. She better run. She better run. Okay, that's two that are on Johnny's patrol. See, this is why I don't like to play with Johnny's. Freaking lunkheads. Ugh. This is why I don't like to play with people who play as Johnny. Meatheads all day long. You're late. This punk made me mess up everything, having to come back here and protect his area. Now I've missed being able to go out and make sure that all the other stuff is taken care of. Thank you, Johnny. Can always depend on you to make a bad situation worse. Face, you got something for Papa? I'll see you. Hunter mode. We just want to see where they're going. Got something? Hurry it up. Let's go check this back door. All right, faces got it. Get him. Okay, how am I already low on stamina, dudes? Charge, charge, charge. Good lord. I missed that fuse. I missed all that. And I'm so tired of it telling me cannot use that ability. All right, he's going that way. And 
I always tell you, you cannot use that ability. All right, so guess what? Anytime we see a Johnny, we leave. We just leave. We gotta be a team here. We can't have anybody half stepping. to a good start so far. It is really trying to give us this slaughterhouse, isn't it? Which is, of course, very victim-sided. Now, he, how is he level 30 with a level 0 hitchhiker? I'm trying to figure that one out. I'm level 34, and I have enough points to at least have three characters. I got two 10s and another one that I could take to 10. This one has 0, so that's not even his main character. It's like people see Sissy and they just don't know how to deal. And people have gotten so used to a cook being around that they don't know how to function when one isn't present. Or I should say a cook that's not level three, rank three with his ear and has the one that points it all out to family. All right, how about that? That's the first time I've seen a hitchhiker running uh, heavy strikes or big swings. This is going to be interesting. The sheriff's department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search into the nearby communities of Harlow and Chinatown will unearth new leads. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her disappearance to please come forward. What should have been? Now, when we see a rush, you reorient direction. Now, unfortunately, it's going to mean that I cause a scene when I come in. But that's okay. Because this is also going to allow me the opportunity to gain some more blood on the way. So it doesn't look like anyone has gotten out yet. 
So here's what we want to do. This puts things on spot, but I can knock it back. All right. Let's do the rounds. All right, looks like our hitchhiker is on his business. Get him. All right, so we already got some who are up and out. Get on to the poison patrol. Alrighty. Let's start it up. Oh, that's good, ain't it? There, there. It's all right, Grandpa. over here that must mean that the one we're looking for is over high sweetheart and we'll just wait for her because we know she's here This is how you fight with sissy. You hunt. I'm not going to chase you, sweetheart. I don't need to. Why would I chase you? When everything you want is over here. I need some powder. I need someone to cover me. Por favor. I know she's here. With that there, she should be over there. I should be able to make a quick run. There she is. You just messed up, sweetheart. And she just took the fuse that I went to go get a poison for. See, told you, you gotta stay on top of stuff. And I should have poisoned that first.
this little grandpa up. I'll go first. Okay, nobody should be in here. When you see the children, I don't see any of my brothers. But someone's here. As long as it says unlock and open for both doors, we're good. Okay, cool. That's the quick way to check for that. Now we're gonna take the quick way back. Cool. Alright, they're all downtown. Someone escaped. That means somebody caught a fuse. Wait a minute, how did they all escape? How did they all escape? It didn't say anything about them all escaping, did it? Oh, jeez, dude. He murdered everybody. Shoot, bully for him, but dang it, you killed three people and that's the only experience you got? That stank. But the one person who escaped from the sewage got more than that. Balance, they need to talk about it. How is that even remotely fair? And then people who got disconnected and still got killed almost got as much experience as me and Hitchhiker and we were we were representing. That's a shame. All right everybody, quick restroom break. Be right back.
All right, back to action. Should I? Not with a sissy that low rank. Not today. Not with a sissy that low rank. Sorry. She couldn't do nothing. She didn't even have the right spec to do something with. <laughs> is it funny how you can get choicey because you can see people and you can see what their spec is and stuff? Like you see that in this automatic, you automatically know that they can't do anything. Jeez, uh, one of you guys wants me to be Leatherface. I don't run with Johnny. Sorry, Johnny is banned for his sheer stupidity. No, Johnny. No, Johnny. You guys have already seen the matches with Johnny in him. His old melon head learns nothing, does nothing, except let victims escape. No, Johnny. No, Johnny. None. We are going to pray this Johnny isn't stupid. He's level 10. He's got his stuff ranked up a bit. Looks like he spent some time with Johnny. So maybe we finally got a smart one. What are you laughing at? Ain't a damn thing funny. Okay, this is not the quick exit. First things first. Get this set up ready. Spray. Poison ready. 
get our blood. Like if you do have time, if they haven't rushed by this point, dang it, no sooner than I spoke. I was gonna say, come over here and see if there's blood over here. If not, it's time to head forward. I'm not gonna poison that right now. We have no cook. Do we? No, we have a Johnny. So first things first. Start poisoning everything in sight. Hit that center area, poison it all. Here's a fuse. All right, we got some blood. We're gonna keep on moving. We got one more poison left. Alert, alert, alert. That means someone's here. We'll keep an eye on that. If it turns red, that means one of them is coming up. If not, keep it moving. We're not here to hunt victims. Someone's here. Who? Who? All right, I'm getting distracted. With well, Sissy, you gotta stay on it. First and foremost, let's hit the easy mode one. <laughs> All right, first and foremost, let's run down here and make sure this is closed. Once we make sure that's closed, it is now safe to access. Now, where is Johnny? Not where he's supposed to be at. I can't even see Johnny. He disconnected this punk. All right, so it's up to me and Face to handle this. All right, Face. It's gonna be me and you, buddy. Me and you, partner. Okay, nobody's in here. Where is that at? It should be around here. Now, how did you escape that fast? Wow, dude. Dude, how? <laughs> Okay, you guys, that was that was cheaters. Those were cheaters. Look at that. I just want I just want to look at that. Escape from valve exit. How did you escape from the valve exit when as soon as the sound went off, you were able to get out? And none of them are around. Those are cheaters. I will be documenting this and I will be sending this to our people. Cheater report. Cheater report. Got it. Got it. I was hoping to see a good Johnny and they actually took and just jacked him up. First they disconnected him then they activated the valve exit and all it took was one twist and the valve exit was open and everybody got out shenanigans people shenanigans but welcome to the pc side of stuff 
You don't see this when you play on the uh, console side of stuff. It's all right. Because we get prepared for this. I'm going to let this cook. Cook, no, I got his back. I'm just telling him, every breath you take, every move you make, I'll be watching you. Whatever you're doing, I'll be watching. I got your back. Gotta let your family know you got their back. He needs support too. Because without people to go out and strike, Cook ain't much good. Actually, he is. If you know how to spec him correctly. Let's suit up. You know what? Skip this. We're going full blood spec, full blood ability. Well, you know what? No. Let me keep that because they've been rushing and I haven't been able to hold violin, so no. continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search to the nearby community of Marlow and Chinatown will unearth the lead. Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her disappearance to please come forward. Just a touch. 
All right, let's get set up. We got a messed up connection here. Okay, so they already snatched this one. Even though it's poison. Even though it's poison. All right, you handle that cook. Okay, they haven't made it here yet. So, latch it. There's no way in. Okay, that's the only way in here. I got a couple of things to go poison, but no way in. So let's go this way. Turn on our lights. And let's get some poisons. So it's strange because it seems like you kind of need a good party in order for you to be able to let's slash that though I don't know why just to keep them out because they can still get in through here all right let's check out the family Okay, he's over there chilling. Hmm. Nothing over here. Who? Who and where? Somebody who's on their way up here to this fuse. Okay. Okay, you guys got this. You guys got this. I'm going to hit downstairs. And I'm going to go get blood. Okay. Dang, how did he move that fast? power okay that's still running we're still good over here all right perfect this puts me in an odd place. But also a good place. All 
All right. Let's move back in. Did anybody ever get out of here? Nope. Sure didn't. But he put a lock on here instead of on the other door. Which a lot of people don't know about that other door. Alright, let's set the trap. Let's set the bait. First of all, let me poison that. Because that's what I should have been doing. Got you, Papa. Got him. Now I don't know how they escape. I'd like to know. And I would really like to know why this. Why my audio is jacked up. Rubber legs, level three. Awesome. Okay, so Leatherface, Leatherface from Valve Exit. I never heard it, heard that activate. I never heard that activate. How did you escape from the Valve Exit and it never activated? Ay, 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 ay. They were a crew, so I'm not going to shoot them for that. They're just trying to roll together. They keep wanting me to be in Leatherface, but he's not until next week. But you know what? If things keep going the way that they are, we might as well just go ahead and give a preview for next week. Because goodness. Most of my teammates have been garbage lately. Look at this mess. 
I bet you guys can already tell how this is gonna end, right? I'm gonna pick Sissy and say that I'm with it. We'll see what the others do. Well, okay. Adam Licious, I hope you are not a stupid Johnny. I hope you really know how to play him. I don't even know how to play him yet. So I hope you do. Connor refused to play him unless they confirm or deny whether or not his ability to swing super fast is supposed to be his thing or not. They confirm that, I'll play him. The search continues in Muerto County for a missing University of Texas student. The Sheriff's Department says Maria Flores, a native of Uvalde, was last seen near the town of Newt. Her vehicle was recently discovered abandoned, with officials reporting no signs of foul play. Authorities are hopeful that the expanded search is to be nearby Family and friends are urging anyone with information regarding her Okay, so that was smart if she can actually make it. Johnny. Oh, I see. Now, my question is. My question is, how does she jump out the window? Get up, you know what? You guys, I'm tired of showing you guys cheaters. We're marking her. That Julie, cheater. You're getting marked on stream. Your name might be Beezlebub, but you won't be back on my stream. 
And just in case it was you. Meanwhile, this cooldown is still not over with. I've had a time to ban two people. Such a shame. Such a shame. But you know, you've always got people who feel like they need to cheat. It is what it is. But if everybody is in here, then who's outside? I guess it's going to have to be me. Actually, I already powdered that. What are you talking about? Could have swore I, I poisoned that one already. But okay. And I only got one. Little stinking poison out of that. That's why I said you lose a lot when you don't just have the ability to just auto do that stuff. Okay, wow, 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 what are you guys doing? Well, first of all, Leatherface disconnected. Man, oh, I'm so sorry you guys have to see this, but this is a side to the game. This is a side to the game. What are you doing a dance for? You weren't even in the match. They all escaped from the rear exit and the rear road. Johnny was supposed to be watching out for that because I was in the house. Look at all those points they got, man. Why would you want to be a family member? Alright, so all of this has been for learning, but how can you learn when you have dumbass teammates? And it's not Leatherface, because Leatherface has always been bomb. I haven't come across a stupid Leatherface yet. But I've come across way too many stupid Johnnies. And way too many hitchhikers who didn't know their trap from their fly, so... What can we say? We're gonna see who comes into this family house night. Whoever comes in next, I'll determine some things. This is starting to get ridiculous. Okay, I gotta cook. I'll take you. Now we just need a good face. Oh, then he just left. Okay, whatever. If you guys can't deal with Sissy, then give me somebody who can. Oh. 
I know why everyone's leaving. Number one, we have a TTV in here. So TTV, of course, means Twitch TV. They're all a team. Why is everyone afraid of a team? This is the one thing I don't understand why people are so afraid of teams. But I'm going to have to go because nobody is going to come into this room when it's full of teams. I'm sorry, guys. Maybe this would have been a good match, but eh. Such a shame. Like, people will run when they see that people are teamed up and stuff like that. It's like, it doesn't matter if they're teamed up, dude. For victims, that means they can coordinate things and stuff like that. But teamwork on the victim side should not mean a problem for the family side. And for whatever reason, family players, when they see teams, they run like the law is coming after them. It's really kind of sad. Like, why are you so scared of that? When if your family, you've been doing that all along, watching after family and stuff like that, you see me do it and I haven't had to have no communication with my family. I've known where everybody is at, looked up stuff, and been able to tell who got disconnected and who didn't. I've been able to look at my stuff and be able to see who's there and who's not. Why are people scared? Shouldn't be scared of a victim team. That's kind of what you want in a game like this. But people see that and they just run. Run for the hills. Wow. Wow. All right, next match. Okay, let's see if we can do this. Oh, it looks like we got another team. Triple team. Gas station night. We could do this. Dude, we got this. A cook, Leatherface, and me. We got this. No, no, no. Anna, go ahead and be your level zero Connie. And let her go ahead and be a level zero Anna. Give me a match without a Connie or a Leland. Without either one of them. And I will show you the way to heaven. I'm telling you, you will never get a match without a Leland or a Connie. Why? Because of how strong they are, especially Connie, because she's the lockpick pro. Makes Jill Valentine sit back and take notes. You will never come into a match without a Connie. But they claim she's underpowered. But she's the first one who gets picked. <laughs> she's always there, dude. I fought matches without uh, Leland with Sonny in his place, but never without a
children exit on their head if you dare to look at them soon you will be dead <laughs> Oh, you shouldn't have done that. You just gave me powers. How does she unlock that that fast? I'm over it, dude. Wow. That's three out. That's three out, and then the other one is already going to go ahead and just make it out the other thing. And now they've reactivated the thing, so I can't make it back in. So I'm screwed. I don't have rubber boots. So I can't make it back across that or else I'll die. So I'm just out here chilling. For always is always forever. Cause one is one with one. 
do not run me back towards that. I can't get back in, guys. You locked me out when you turn that back on. Alright, I think that's enough. I think that's enough. All we seem to be getting is people who just destroy us. Destroy us and everything else. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and end this right here because there is no more learning to go through when you've got that. Like, what can you do? What can you do? So. With that having been said, let's go ahead and roll the end credits. So. That's what it is to be sissy. Um, I feel like I've given you guys a good rundown of what she's supposed to do and what she can and cannot do. And the differences between playing the two different areas. As you can see, playing the Blood Runner Sissy in this, the way that the victims are able to play is just not beneficial. It's best that you be able to go ahead and poison everything and just keep it moving from there. So, I don't know if I just got a hold of a bunch of stupid second teammates because my leather face was always good i think there was only one time where he got disconnected but i can't show you guys anything if if what you're seeing is what you're seeing you know what i'm saying and because we're in the pc community you have potential for cheaters and we have seen plenty of them tonight Clipping through gates, activating stuff in like a split second, and then everybody is out. I wonder if those people know that they got caught on stream doing that. And that I'm going to submit all of this to the game developers. But what does it matter? As long as this still stays a peer to peer player game. There's always going to be cheaters as far as PC is concerned. And I won't be surprised if they keep PC separate from the rest of all the players simply because you've got some PC players who wholly and truly believe in cheating and manipulating things just to have a good time in this game as you can see you don't need to do that to have a good time in this game but that's reality that's reality you're always going to have cheaters no matter what this could be the easiest game in the world and you will still have cheats that will make it even easier oh you can't pass the game on level one well, here's a cheat so that if you pass the game on level one, you get to the end of the game. Hmm. So sad. And I hate that we had to end it on this because I had hoped to show you guys so much more with Sissy, but I think we got the bases covered. I think we've got everything covered with her, with her abilities, and what she can do. You've seen both sides. You've seen the idea and the concept behind her you've even seen some secret stuff that'll help you out as long as people comply <sighs> wow i hate that you guys had to see what you saw tonight like, it started out good, but the later you go, the more cheating you start to see. And I refuse to have my station littered with cheaters talking about, we're stream sniping you. No, you're cheating. 
You're cheating, and if you need to cheat, as I said with Evil Dead, as I said with Friday the 13th, if you need to cheat at a game like this, this is not the game for you, and you suck. I'm sorry you're not good enough to figure out how to play this game. But if you don't have the time to do that, then you don't have time for this game. We'd prefer you leave. Cheaters. It's time there's an end bought to that, dude. You got to have a place to where you say there's no room for that. And when you see it, you should be able to report it. And when you see things out of the ordinary and you know that somebody is doing it, you should be able to report it. Other than that, why are you here? What do you get out of this? There's no rank system. There's no point system. There's no accolades. Learn how to play like the rest of us did. And then one day you might be bombed. Look up my stuff. Look up other people's stuff. It'll teach you how to play. And then you won't need to cheat. But nah. Nowadays in this world, everybody is looking for the easy way out. And the easy way out is to cheat. So, I'm gonna go ahead and end this here. I'm so sorry everybody. This is such a low note, but I was at least able to show you everything that Sissy is capable of, the different builds, and just how you can set yourself up with her. Remember, when you go at people with Sissy, you want to hunt. She's just like a victim. Her and Hitchhiker can hide. Hide. You saw what that did. When I hid and stuff, look how many people I got. When I just hid and waited for those punks, look at how many people I got. That is her style. She's not very out front in public. She's supposed to hide and ambush people. That's her way of attacking. That's why she's got that low savagery and how you have to mac it out and add other things to it to make it look good but hopefully i've shown you how to make her awesome all right everybody i'm gonna go ahead and end this here i hope this has been informative if it has you know what to do leave those thumbs up and leave comments like please if i left anything out let me know what I did leave out is stay away, stay away, stay away. My last note, stay away from Spore Loser. Stay away from it, it's broken. What's supposed to happen is that if you lose a close encounter, you automatically drop an emergency uh, poison cloud even if you're out of powder. Now you have a cooldown on this. This talent is currently broken. I don't know how it's broken. But for whatever reason, I don't know if it's if you have poison on your weapon or if you've got what's left over from special blend on you or what. But you'll get into an encounter and things will take place because you can blow out multiple clouds in the spot and you can cloud up a whole area. That doesn't matter. But when it comes to Spore Loser, for whatever reason, like I said, I don't know if it's if you have poison on your weapon from this or if it's because you have the boost from this, which is regeneration and it shouldn't have anything that conflicts with this ability for whatever reason if you do get into an encounter and you lose it'll tell you cannot use this ability do not take this ability 
don't take it. It won't help you. It'll leave you at a disadvantage. That's why you do not see it in my rotation when I go through here. Now, hopefully they'll fix this and get this together. I've actually put up posts to the developers about it and we'll see where it goes. But as for right now, do not run this talent if you are sissy or at least do not run this talent along with this talent until the problem is figured out what is. So that's going to be my lasting advice. Like I said, I really hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoy finally getting to play as Sissy and her not being bugged and everything else. Like, I like her. I like her. I like her whole motive and everything else. But because she spent so much time, even though she was a release character, because she spent that entire month bugged, her and Johnny spent the entire month bugged and Johnny is still bugged nobody is playing them so nobody knows what they can and cannot do now we're just starting to figure out sissy so the only thing that I would say as far as changes go is that she needs to be able to have something that highlights people her poison anytime somebody gets poisoned should highlight or what have you because she is the only family member that does not have tacker track now what is tacker track this is the neat ability that's not that one tacker track is the one that you have where if you hit a person it automatically highlights the victim. She's the only one who doesn't have that only because if she poisons someone, then it will highlight them. However, it only highlights them for her. So, Sissy is gonna need to see like some buffs just when it comes to her ability to add that to the family, but I guess she's supposed to be kind of undercover and so that's why they took those abilities away from her and she moves like she does but as you can see she's a beast like her ability to just lock down things and make things go slower is awesome i like sissy i like her a lot and all they can do from now and here on is make her better and fix what other broken talents she might have that aren't working as a result of the ones that weren't working and you tried to fix them. <laughs> like, she'll only get better. So if this is how she is, I can't wait to see how Johnny is going to be. But anyway, everybody. I'm going to end this here and next week, unless Johnny gets fixed, we're going to start taking a look at Leatherface and we're going to talk about the reason why nobody wants to play him and why he's the only one that nobody wants to mess with. We're going to get into him. All right. So we'll do that, N let's say next Sunday, perhaps next Saturday. I may do a two day special with him just like I did with Sissy because you kind of need two days to go through everything and just, just to explain it all and just to put it into practice. All right, so let's look forward to him next Sunday, perhaps Saturday. And I will see you guys all then. Have a good work week. And take care.